Romans for me has actually become like Psalms and Proverbs, even though it's not a wisdom book. It's become this book that I want to read a little bit of every day because what I'm realizing is that what I thought or what I believed in one season continues to evolve. And so when God says, submit yourself to authority or present your body a living sacrifice or there's no condemnation, maybe some life situations have occurred and I need that reminder. So I kind of have been reading it a little bit every day and cycling through it like I would Psalms or Proverbs, and it has become really just a backdrop for everyday life. I think it supersedes seasons. I think uh, there are ways that we can infuse romance into our everyday life. Usually I would tell people as they're reading through it or studying, what are the things that the Holy Spirit's kind of pricking at you? Because there's so much and what he might kind of poke at you about in one season may be different than another. For me, I've been looking at Romans chapter one a lot. And even though I'm a believer and I love Jesus, I still have become fascinated with how God continues to reveal himself in nature. I'm convinced that everyone has a chance to choose God. It makes me feel excited about sharing the gospel to have all these things that I can point to and say, this is God trying to show you himself. But it also makes me want to stay in awe as a believer that that never becomes mundane.